Good morning. I am very happy to welcome you at the Rise and Shine session after the sleep out. It for some of us was the first time experience and someone has done it before. It's never the same and uh, sleeping out rough, it's not comfortable. So I will try to make you feel good for the rest of your day. We're going to warm up the shoulders, the hips, the neck and reconnect to ourselves. So start by standing up on the mats comfortably or on the floor. It's good to take your socks off and just have something comfortable and loose. I'm sure you are sleeping in something already comfortable. Place your right hand on your chest at your heart center and the left hand on your tummy and start connecting to your breath. We're going to inhale to the count of four and exhale to the count of five. Inhaling to four and exhaling to six. Inhaling to four and exhaling to eight. And stay here for a few more breaths, inhaling to the count of four. And exhaling to the count of eight. Now bring your hands down and find the connection between the feet and the earth. Feel connected and grounded and you can spread the toes wide and lower them down to the floor. You can bring the weight to the front of the toes and the backs of the heels, to the outer sides of the feet and the inner sides of the feet. And now spread the weight evenly through all feet. Start lifting the muscles in your leg, engaging the kneecaps, engaging the thighs, engaging the abdomen. And now you can spread the fingers wide and pull the shoulders back. So all body is engaged. Bringing hands to the waist. Now we're going to awaken our necks, which probably without the pillow or sleeping on the floor, are feeling a little tight. So let's bring the chin down and circle neck to the right, all the way back to the left shoulder and down. Continue circling and pay attention if you have stiffness somewhere in the neck, you feel it slightly tighter. Stay there for extra breath and then continue rolling further. Let's do three more circles to the right, opening and stretching the side neck. Last two. And the last one to the right. And now the same circles to the left. Going first to the left shoulder back, all the way to the right and forward. Continue circling and if there is any tightness, just stay there, allow the tightness to soothe and continue circling. Another two. And the last circle to the left. Come back to center and bring the right ear to the right shoulder, applying some pressure with the right hand. Don't pull the neck, just let the weight of the hand bring it down and breathe here. You can stretch the left hand out as if you're pressing against something and allow a little bit more stretch. Another in-breath, exhale and come back to center. Now bring in left ear to the left shoulder some pressure with the left hand, just gently. Open the right arm out, press the right hand as if you're pushing away and allow the stretch of the right side of the neck. Another full in breath and full out breath. Coming back to center. Now we're going to look to the right and slightly with the left hand push to the right. So we're stretching the side neck. Two, three, 
and one more breath to the right. Coming back to center, and now we will look all the way to the left, and with the right hand slightly allowing deeper stretch. Two, three, and one more stretch. Coming back to center. Now bring the hands behind your head, open the shoulders, inhale, Exhale, lean slightly to the right, opening the side. Have your elbow pointing up to the sky. And inhale, center. Exhale, left, stretch and open and look up to your right elbow. And back to center. Inhale, exhale, one more time to the right. And back to center. And again to the left, look up. Back to center. From here, open wide, and we want to stretch the back of the head, the back of the neck. So imagine you have a grapefruit or apple under your chin and the chest, and don't close this distance, but push yourself down, stretching the back of the neck up for two, and three, and four, back to center. Release the hands, hold on to your left wrist, Lift the left wrist up, and now we will lean to the right. You want to feel quite a strong stretch on the left side body, and we can bend the left knee to allow a deeper stretch. So we're going all the way, slightly curling here. Two more breaths. And the last one. Coming back to center, changing the wrist. Hold on to your right wrist. Lengthen the right side, lift up and bend the right knee, slightly curling through here for three, two, and one. Back to center. Give a few circles with the shoulders. Let's do five, and five circles forward. Now you can step the right foot back and do deeper circles with the arm. Two, three, four, Five and forward, five, four, three, two, one. Changing the legs and changing the arms. Going forward, two, three, four, five. And going back, two, three, four, five. Coming back to center. Bring your hands in front of you and roll the wrists in. Five. And out. Now bring the arms out to sides and roll the same five in. And five out. Keeping the arms here, open the chest, stretch as far back as you can, and close in a fluid movement. Let's do five opening. Two, three, four, five. Gently opening the chest outside. Two, three, four, five, opposite side, five, four, three, two, one, back to center, five, four, three, two, one, once more down this side, five, four, Three, two, one, opposite side. It's really warming up the shoulders. Three, two, one, open out, hold it here for a few breaths and release. Now we're going to shake the body a little more. We will give a good shake to the wrist, just isolating the wrist and shake, shake, shake. Now shake all arm from the shoulder, awakening the arm. Now the left wrist. And shake the whole arm. Shake the ankle, isolating the ankle. And shake the leg from the hip and bum. And shake the opposite ankle and all of the leg. Now shake everything in the body, shake, 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 shake. And shake the face. 
Inhale and exhale with the sound. <sighs> so we are slightly more ready for the day. We're going to do cat and cow. Normally we do cat and cow uh, flat on the ground on all fours. But I think as we maybe not yet settled at home, we're going to do a standing cat and cow. And uh, we're going to bend the knees slightly. We're going to do opening the chest and lifting up, exhaling, curling through the body. Inhale, lift. Exhale, curl. And we can slide the hands down the thighs. Inhale, lift. Exhale, two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, three. Inhale, lift. Exhale, four. Exhale, five. From here, we will slide slightly lower to the shins. And we're going to do the same cat and cow, going up to the knees and down. So stretching a little bit more through the lower back. Two, three, last two, last one. And from here, keeping the knees slightly bent, lifting the sit up, interlace the elbows and release your lower back and start turning from side to side, going all the way to the right, all the way to the left. Two and three. Relaxing the crown of the head down. Last two. Last one. And here, release the hands down. Allow yourself just to rela release the neck as well. Say yes if you turn, nodding and no. And start slowly coming up, vertebra by vertebra, back to center. Opening the shoulders and the head is coming up last. We are going to do a warrior, which is the most known pose in yoga. We will step the left foot back, keeping the right foot in front. Inhaling, straightening both knees and exhaling, bringing the hands back to chest and bending the front knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, two, sideways, work. inhale, lift, exhale, three, inhale, lift, exhale, four, last one, inhale, lift, exhale, five, from here, open the chest wider, stay here for one extra breath, inhale, lift, hands together and step to the front of the mat. We will do the same on the left side. So stepping the left foot, uh, the right foot back, bending the left knee, exhaling deeper, and inhaling, lifting up. Exhale two. Inhale two. Exhale three. Inhale three. Last two. Lift. And the last one. Lift up, exhale, hands together, and step the back foot forward. From here, we're going to open the feet out wide, hands and hips. So we're going to inhale, opening the chest, and exhale, bringing the chest parallel to the floor. So sideways, it will look like that. Stay here, open the arms out. Try not to press the weight back. Stay forward on the balls of the feet. Inhale, open in the arms. And exhale, we are going to turn to the side, holding either to the thigh, calf or ankle. Back to center. Exhale, turn and open, looking up into the palm. Center, or you can just windmill, go in center. And two, and three, and four and five, six, seven, and eight. From here, allow the elbows to hang down. Move from side to side. Bring hands back onto the hips. Inhale, lift up into standing, and exhale, step the feet together. 
Now we will work on awakening our legs a little bit more and squats do it best. So we are going to do squats on the, um, on the toes. Bringing hands in front of you, lifting up on the toes, inhale and exhale, squat all the way down, inhale, lift. So it looks like that, exhale, down, two, Woo. exhale, three, exhale, four. It doesn't matter how deep your squat is, but try to go down as far as you can. Five, let's do five more, five and four and three and two and one and stay down here you can either keep yourself still standing on the toes or if you're comfortable you can lower the heels down and open the chest a few breaths here if you're on the toes that's you're here you can be much higher or lower just be wherever you are and treat your body as gentle as possible. We're going to lower the left hand down, pressing the left hand in the floor, opening the right arm up. You can look either down into the left hand or up into the right and breathe here for five and four and three, two, Bringing the right hand down, opening the left arm up, breathing here, looking either down to the right or up, and two, and one. Bringing it back, bringing the heels down onto the floor, bringing the hands down, start lifting up slowly. Remember the head is coming up last and shoulders back find your balance bring the weight onto your left foot and bring the right knee into the chest hug the right knee in and hug the knee from the inside inhale straighten exhale bend inhale two exhale two inhale three exhale three and four Apparently, I can't speak up. One second, five. Hug the knee one more time and release the leg down. Two, 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 two. Voila. And now the left, hand, le left foot. So we're lifting the left knee to the chest. Tight, tight, tight. And now hold from the inside. And stretch. And one. It can be anywhere, really. You might hold it quite low. Two more, two. Last one. And hold the knee into the chest. And release down. Give a good shake to both legs. I'm feeling warmer. It was really freezing cold. And we will do the tree pose. So balancing on the left foot. You either balance with your right foot still standing down on the floor. You can lift it up to towards the calf, or you can place it all the weight onto your thigh, but think that it's not pressing into the knee joint. And the hands either together in prayer or up. Breathing here for five breaths. Two. And three. And four. And exhale, hands back to prayer. And release the right foot down. The same, finding stability on your right. And bring in the left where it was the first way, or you can maybe go higher on this side. Bring it in to the side. Hands together. Inhale and stretch the branches of the tree strong up into sky. Breathing here. Two. And three. Four. And bringing palms together. And releasing the left. Give a good shake to your legs. 
and bring the hands back to as we started onto your chest and the belly and now you probably can feel slightly more your heartbeat and just follow your heartbeat for a few breaths allowing the stillness and steadiness into the body and think of uh, maybe three things what you're grateful for you can say it out loud or you can think about it and just allow this energy to settle in the body you can smile with the corners of the mouth or you can smile with your eyes and just reward you yourself for what you have done today what you achieved today with this sleep out bringing hands together and bringing prayer to the forehead with a deep in breath and bowing towards the chest thank you very much for joining me for this rise and shine session eat well stay happy drink plenty of water and I hope we all made a huge difference for homeless people this year and really made difference for Glassdoor because they are doing a tremendous and wonderful job at this difficult time. Thank you.